Hello everyone, this video is going to be a quick overview of our capstone project with ENDON, which stands for North Dakota Agricultural Weather Network. First, we'll discuss our project's story and the need. ENDON provides weather information in the North Dakota region and is particularly focused on agriculture, as weather patterns are crucial when it comes to farming various crops. Additionally, accurate snow depth measurements help to better predict annual flooding come springtime. The need for our project comes from wanting to know snow depths at ENDON stations, of which there are over 150. The stakes that were in use at the start of our project are shown on the left-hand side, the white and blue, and before our project they would need to be evaluated by a human each time you wanted to know snow depth at a given station. When you have that many stations, it takes a lot of time and effort, so we were tasked with creating a back-end Python application to automate the process and output the JSON each day, saving numerous man-hours per week. So how our project works is by using the OpenCV library with Tesseract optical character recognition. And the first step is to crop the image down to just the observable snow stake without any additional interference from greenery or fences or any other structures. This is done through masking by color. In our case, the color is the blaze orange of the newest generation of snow stakes as seen in the top left. We tried a neon green because in the wintertime there is no green plants, but the reflection of the snow on the stake created too much of a gradient that interfered with the masking process. This masked image is then eroded, which takes the orange pixels detected and shrinks the areas, making the noise disappear entirely. This is shown in the third image. This also shrinks the stake, and so the image must be dilated, which is taking any pixels and enlarging them to restore the size of the stake. We then detect the straight lines left behind and crop the image to those dimensions. This finishes the pre-processing portion. This pre-processed image is then fed into the Tesseract text detection algorithm, which outputs each number on the stake. The minimum visible value would be the depth of snow at a given station. This depth value is then passed to a JSON file along with the station info and whether or not an image or depth needs to be manually reviewed.